service game, you didn't really face a break point for that very last game. Can you, can you talk about your, your game and all three service games? Yeah, and I was a bit lucky on that one, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt very solid today, and I think that's important against a player who can have big weapons. And, uh, you know, I kind of told myself to be ready for anything, and she, she had some great serves and some great forehands, so I was just ready for that. I was going to try to neutralize that and then take my chances when I had them. Um, so I'm happy I was able to, you know, step in and, and attack whenever she, you know, let up a little bit. Yeah, I think my serve was a bit more consistent today, which I'm happy about. I still think I can serve better, and I'm always working to try to get better. But it definitely gives me confidence um, knowing that uh, I was holding serve pretty easily and um, trying to start up the points, just being aggressive, you know. If I have an easy ball after that, you know, I'm just trying to move forward. So um, that's always my goal. For sure, I definitely I sense that switch a little bit, and uh, I feel ready for it. You know, I um, expect everyone to pretty much play their best against me and be really motivated to try to win the match. So I see that as uh, a kind of challenge. And um, yeah, there's there's no more secrets. Everyone knows how I play, and uh, you know, they'll uh, try to figure out a way to play me. But that's how it is. You know, I'd, I'd rather be in this position. Towards this position. I, of course, prefer to have people chasing me because that means I've, you know, achieved a certain level and, um, you know, near the top or at the top, and that's that's my ultimate goal. So, as tough as it is, you know, it's it's tougher to probably stay there, but um, you know, that's the challenge, and that's what I'm trying to work for. So. Not major changes, you know, I'm not looking to have major changes, I think, in my game. I'm happy with how, what my game is like. I think I can improve a bunch of aspects of it, but, you know, I'm not looking to change anything big. Uh, we haven't had that much time training and not that much tournament time either, so, you know, I consider this almost my first tournament with him. So, yeah, we've, I like, um, what he thinks about my game and, and the vision he has going forward, but you know we're we're keeping my general same aggressive game and just trying to improve on that. Um, but uh, we'll definitely have a lot of work to do. Do you know what's a bit? What are the differences just in the day to day with him? For example, when you're training, do you have longer practices, shorter practices, more intense? Do you work on different things? What are what are some of the things he may do differently than previous coaches that you've had? He's, he's very intense and very tough, which I like. Uh, I think we have maybe a bit longer practices than I've had in the past, and uh, a lot more variety, a lot more, you know, working on specific things that you know maybe I haven't worked on before. More, it was maybe a bit more general, but um, which I love. You know, I love having specific things in mind. And um, yeah, definitely just a bit of a tougher overall uh, mindset. You know, I, I was in the gym and outside after my match today, so, you know, the work never stops. <laughs> so after Antwerp, you were hurt. Was it very, was it big hurt, or wasn't that big of a deal like you didn't play another five weeks after that, more or less? Yeah, the plan was to only play one other tournament besides that one anyway, so uh, I didn't miss out too much. But I just wanted to make sure I took the time to heal because it's the beginning of the season. And, um, you know, I think I did a good job of um, doing that recovery and then getting, using the time to get try to get even, into even more shape. And uh, so I think I did that well, and I've just been, you know, craving tournaments and matches, so I'm just really happy to be here. What are your goals? I might, yeah. Um, I uh, always love watching tennis as a fan, first of all, and uh, you know, it should be a great match, a great kind of rivalry, so I think I'll let him watch a little bit. So who wins? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, that's really tough because, you know, um, because coming back a little bit and 
we're not sure how her form is, but it's been looking great recently. And uh, you know, Maria's always been playing really well. So um, honestly, I can't say anything. I can't say anything.